Hi, I'm Dr. Anil, consultant neurologist at Columbasia Hospital, Hebbal. Stroke occurs either the blood supply to the brain is compromised, either the blood uh, which has been flown to the brain, the vessel carrying the blood is blocked, or for some reason it gets ruptured uh, and the blood flows into the brain uh, parenchyma. So there are certain instances where patient comes to us with uh, complaints of you know uh, memory issues. They have a little bit of behavioral changes recently difficulty in walking and when we evaluate them when we do a scan of the brain when we do an MRI of the brain we see certain blockages and if you ask them they are never aware that they had stroke in the past and this can be termed as uh, silent strokes very important because there, there will be underlying risk factors for the development of these blockages in the brain we need to evaluate that and treat accordingly secondly pre-stroke or what we call as transient ischemic attack where there is a sudden uh, cessation of uh, the blood supply or a compromise of the blood to the brain and then recovers. Like any patient comes with a sudden onset of weakness of the hand or legs which, which is there for a few hours and then recovers. This we call as transient ischemic attack. Very important where the body is giving a warning signal to us there is an imminent stroke where there is something underlying wrong in the blood flow to the brain which we can rectify and prevent a permanent uh, stroke. This is pre-stroke. So whenever a patient has any of these following symptoms, that is sudden onset of weakness on one side, or not able to walk, not able to talk, suddenly he goes blind and recovers within few minutes to hours, he has sudden slurring of speech and then recovers, and he needs to rush immediately to a hospital where there's a neurologist, get himself evaluated to look for if he has any risk factors of stroke and get treated accordingly.